Hey coach, this is Coach Van with Next Play Hoops and uh, we're back again with another uh, video book preview and today we're going to take a look at uh, our shooting drills uh, playbook. Uh, this is a playbook that has uh, 1,449 pages in it and we broke all of our drills down into 29 different shooting categories. Uh, we make it extremely easy for uh, any coach to be able to find exactly what they want uh, exactly when they need it. So uh, we'll take a look. You kind of see the inside of the book here. Uh, we're we're going to start off with the table of contents. Let me blow this up a little bit so everybody can see. Um, this is our table of contents for our shooting drills. And uh, we start off with one dribble pull-ups. Uh, I, it's a lost art, um, in my opinion. I know analytics say uh, the mid-range shot is gone. I don't believe in that. I say take that shot. So we want to work on it every day. We want to work on creating separation, putting the ball out in front of us, and and uh, being able to pull up on the um, off the dribble. Um, uh, we got two action shooting, which is our playbook uh, terminology and vocabulary. Um, if you've bought um, our unscalable playbook or our terminology and vocabulary playbook, uh, you'll be familiar with um, our two action. Uh, then we go into AI Iverson uh, cuts. If you are a team that likes to run a lot of um, Iverson cuts, we want to get your players comfortable um, shooting off of uh, making an Iverson cut. So we give you some drills there. Uh, then we have some baseline shooting drills, uh, some runner action, whether it's against a, a three, two or a one, three, one. So, um, you know, we only give you 19 pages there, but uh, we definitely we give you quite a few drills um, that you can choose from to get your players comfortable in catching and shooting, uh, running the baseline. Uh, then you'll see here in our catch and shoot and basic shooting drills, uh, we give you over 200 pages of drills. I mean, we want all of our players to um, uh, be able to take game shots, at game spots, at game speed in every drill that we do. Um, but we also want to make sure that our players are shot ready. Uh, they're in position, they got their lead foot and they can catch, step in and shoot. Um, so that's, that's the section here. Um, if you got players that are just spot up shooters or, um, you know, spotting up in the zone or on the weak side of a pick and roll, um, the, you know, you might want to work on some of those drills. Uh, then we give you some DHO shooting drills, dribble handoff. Um, I know that's, uh, extremely popular now. So, uh, we want all of our players, um, we like to run a lot of DHO action. So um, because we do, we, we want to make sure that our players are comfortable coming off a, dri a dribble handoff and being prepared to shoot, uh, planting with our inside foot and, and being able to square up and go up. Uh, then we give you double stagger and drive and kick and drift shooting drills. Um, you know, if you're a team, this is more specific. Um, if you're a team that likes to run a lot of double staggers, whether it's out of your five out action, or maybe it's a three out two in and, and you run a lot of double stagger action, uh, you want your players to be able to catch and shoot um, coming off screen. So this is the section that you would go to. Our drive and kick and drift shooting drills is uh, something that, uh, uh, you know, we're working on a couple things there. We're working on our drives, our jump stops, and our and making good passes for um, the kick and shot. But we're also working on uh, passing on the move, on our drift passing on the baseline and hammer action stuff too. So uh, elevator action, we call that Husky action, or our T-series shooting drills, uh, which is basically just screen the screener shooting drills, um, making sure that our players are comfortable um, coming through the elevator doors or coming off the uh, – the screen, the screener action and catching and shooting. Uh, we work on some flare shooting drills. We work on floaters, floppy action. Uh, we even got some drills for free throw shooting. Uh, we got our go action, which is again, our playbook terminology and vocabulary, um, but basically that's hammer action. And uh, basic layups, we'll give you a hundred and almost 150 pages just in basic uh, continuity layup shooting drills um, that are different too. Uh, this is one of my favorites, uh, one more pass shooting drills. Love this section. Um, uh, getting our players used to making reads on when to make that one more pass to the open man. I'm always constantly talking to my players about uh, uh, taking the best shot, not the first shot. So uh, this is a perfect example of that. And that's something that, again, you can't get on your players for making the uh, not making the right pass if we haven't worked on that in practice. So um, that's a section that you might want to do um, at least one of those drills on a daily basis. Uh, if possible, or at least every other day. Uh, if you're into training and, you know, we give you some partner and group shooting drills. If you just have, you know, four players to practice, or maybe it's a summer workout or something, we kind of give you almost a hundred pages there and some shooting drills that you can do. Um, uh, 
uh, maybe those could even be in stations or, or whatnot at the beginning of your practice. Uh, then we work on some pinch shooting drills. If you run pinch action, pistol and 21 shooting drills, if you run that action. Uh, this is a huge section, um, our pick and roll shooting drills, making sure that our players are comfortable uh, shooting coming off of screens. Uh, we do that in a, a plethora of different ways, whether it's coming from uh, different angles and whatnot. So uh, then we got pick and pop action shooting drills or just pop action in general. So even like, for example, if you're setting a back screen, UCLA screen, uh, and then our players are popping off of that or coming off some flare action, anything with a pop or a slip or um, a flare or something like that, uh, that that's that section. And then we got sh uh, shooting drills just specifically for our post players, whether that's in a man or a zone, inside or outside. Um, and then th this is also another uh, favorite of mine is pressure shooting drills. Um, it's one thing to take uh, shots, um, you know, and get a bunch of shots up. It's an another thing to take some shots that they might see in a game uh, with pressure and a hand in their face. Uh, so this section here is a bunch of shooting drills that have pressure where, um, we have players running at a player or a coach uh, with a hand in their face and getting them used to taking shots that they're going to be taking in a game. Uh, then we have some relocate shooting drills. Um, this is huge too, because we always teach our players any pass made to the post. We want to relocate uh, same thing in like a zone. Uh, we always want to be relocating. So uh, this is a great section where we give you uh, over 60 different pages of drills of just working on, on relocating uh, after a pass. And uh, then we get into setting screens and reading screens, uh, whether it's curling or flaring and making the proper reads coming off screens. And then not only that, uh, reading the defender um, on a screen, but we also want to get our players used to uh, shooting coming off the screens and, and planning the inside foot and squaring up and going straight up. So, uh, and just being shot ready and again, taking game shots at game spots at game speed. Uh, then our last two sections here, we got our swing and our double stagger shooting drills. So if you run the swing offense or you're uh, maybe even a, in a Carolina numbered break and you're swinging the ball from one side to the other side, uh, these might be some drills that you might use. And then we get into our transition shooting drills uh, to finish off our table of contents here and, um, you know, kicking the ball ahead and, and shooting early in transition if you want to um, you know, kind of up the, the pace of the game and whatnot. So uh, that's, that's our shooting drills playbook. Um, I'll kind of scan through a little bit so you can kind of take a look at our different sections here. Um, here's our two action shooting drills. Uh, you can see here, um, I'll give you a quick example. Here's our one and uh, Laker cut shooting drill. Let's see if I can blow this up a little bit. Uh, our one is our uh, Euro ball screen. And then our Laker cuts are after we make a pass in here to the post, our low Laker cut, you'll see two passes to the post and then cuts through. Um, but what we're trying to do here is we're accomplishing numerous different things. Uh, number one comes off the Euro ball screen. So we're getting used to coming off that. And then we're making a throwback pass to two. Um, and then two is passing the ball to the post and then cutting through all the way to the weak side where he'll receive a pass from the coach for a shot. Uh, number five in the post is going to fake that pass and then make a little um, drop step to the inside or a jump hook with their left hand. And then number one is going to come back off and receive another pass from the coach for a shot. So um, number one, we're getting three players where everybody's involved. It's a high paced drill. We're accomplishing numerous different things, working on our Laker cuts and working on our uh, Euro ball screen action. And we're working on our post feeds and we're working on uh, numerous things. Um, you can see here that every frame is color coded, very easy to understand what's going on. Uh, we give you full descriptions in the bottom of each frame to explain what's going on in each frame. And in, in the drill section, it's, uh, even more important to uh, tell you how everybody is going to rotate after that. You'll see down um, below here in frame four too that we switch sides and we can do the, we want to do the drill on both sides of the floor too to get our players comfortable from shooting from both sides. So um, all of these drills are uh, printable. You can bring them to practice. Uh, you can view them on your iPad or your iPhone. You can share them with your assistant coaches. Uh, so if you're at a practice and you're like, oh, you forgot what, what was supposed to happen, it's kind of nice to have these as a quick reference to be able to look at. Um, and again, um, you know, they're very accessible, but they're also very easy to understand what's going on. Um, 
um, by the color coded and the descriptions that we give you. So here's another one. Uh, we call this over under, but it's an AI Iverson action. You can kind of see here one passes the ball to the coach and then swings the ball off the Iverson cut there. Um, and everything is color coded and explained. But we, again, we catch the ball and we're going driving hard baseline. So it's just if that's an action that you run, then um, that's a section for you. Here's this section here. We give you one, two, three, four, five full pages of catch and shoot and basic shooting drills. You can see all those here. And I'm just going to scroll through so you can see what's inside the book. But again, this is really nice too. Like if you're struggling with your double stagger shooting, hey, then you need to come to this section and we give you so many different uh, different drills. And you know, this drill book and all the drill books that we have are, are huge um, as far as number one, being organized. Number two, uh, a coach can go find exactly what drill, you know, that he needs when he needs it throughout a season. But um, even more important than that is it, it breaks the monotony. Instead of doing the same drills, coaches are so guilty of, of of doing the same drills on a daily basis every single day and you know players get tired of it and your energy levels will go down in practice they're bored and you know you'll see players rolling their eyes and all that type of stuff and it's just uh, it's you want to keep things um fresh and especially through a long season or if you got the same player on your team in college or in high school for four years you know you're going to want to keep things fresh and do some different drills so I think it's crucial um, to have everything organized like this and, and available when you need it. So kind of scroll down here to the end and uh, that's it. That's the, that's the uh, shooting drills playbook, 1,449 pages. You know, you will, I, I should add to, you will see a couple of the same drills um, in multiple different categories. And uh, the reason for that is, you know, like I, I showed you earlier with the, uh, the Euro ball screen and, uh, Laker cut like you can accomplish multiple things within one drill so it might get put into a, a few different categories but um, again uh, you can reach out to me with any questions whatsoever at coach van at nextplayhoops.com uh, if you're looking for more practice drills uh, we have them individually in each, each section um, if you're looking for the whole shebang we got uh, our uns, um, our ultimate uh, drill book that has over 800 drills in it that are broken down into 27 different chapters and 192 uh, specific categories. So whether it's rebounding, passing, uh, defensive drills, or even specific actions or presses or uh, zones or what, whatever you want to work on, we got a section for you, uh, offense, defense, everything. So uh, you can also look into that if, if that's something that you... Uh... <laughs>